Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our Xena XX series buying guide and overview at Revzilla.com. So Xena as a whole has been around since the 80s. They're a premium manufacturer of motorcycle security. So they do chains, they do locks. Here in this XX series video, we're gonna show you how to choose the right alarmed lock that would be a brake disc lock for your motorcycle. So there's a few different options in front of me. Each one has an accelerometer. Each one's gonna put off a 15 second, 120 decibel sound burst alarm, and each one would slide onto the rotor of your motorcycle. They make some that don't have the alarm, they make some that function really differently, but the XX series is really what we see most popular. So in front of me, if I start left and move over, you're gonna see the XX6, the XX10, the 14, and the 15. These really refer to a different feature set, and as we go from small to large, a lot of times they match up with scooters and small bikes all the way up to maybe medium-sized touring bikes to really Harley David and big beefy bikes. Now thinking about it, you can see some of the feature sets and these are stickers on the outside. These are rust proof monoblock stainless steel units. And you can see the way the locks are built in. They're done by hand. Here would be one of my keys for one of them. I would slide that in and you see how that works there. It's very tough to pick these. They're very much ice proof. And what you have is a very strong and beefy piston that would come down and that's actually gonna lock it onto the rotor of your brake or through one of the rotor vent holes. It's really depending on your bike and depending on the type of rotor you have is what's gonna dictate which one you use. Now, a quick note on really the steps of selecting and making sure it'll fit. The first thing you really need to do is measure the distance between the edge of your rotor and the edge of your rim. It needs to be at least 36 millimeters. So if you think about some of those Buells that have really wide circumferences on their discs or on their, on their brake rotors, it's not, you're not going to be able to fit the disc lock in there and slide it up on the rotor because remember the rotor has to slide in through this slot. So the second thing you need to think about is really the thickness of this gap here. This is called the throat, the width. And really your whole rotor needs to slide in there. So as you can see it slightly starts to change and you can see the distance of that. You can see that spec on each one of these product detail pages. But really typically the rule of thumb is if your rotor is thicker than seven millimeters, this product will not work for you. It's not gonna be able to slide the entire rotor in there. The third thing you wanna think about is really what is the hole on the rotor that this disc lock is, this pin is really going to go through. And that pin pops down. You can put it through a vent hole and you think about it, these are, the pin is six millimeters, the pin is 10 millimeters, the pin goes 14 millimeters for both the 14 and the 15. You can see that these, these are really the same, just the distance back, it's for a thicker rotor. Now if you think about that, you can really mount these whichever way you like, and you're gonna wanna mount them as far back and close to the caliper on your rotor as you can. And that really allows somebody not to get your wheel rolling forward for almost a full revolution before this would bang into the caliper itself. It gives you a, the best chance to deter a thief without actually potentially having to roll it into your bike. So you think about the size of the hole, you need to be, think about the size of the piston. Now if you're going to mount this just to one of the cutaways on your rotor, not one of the vent holes, probably any size will work. If you're gonna go through that vent hole, you need to just measure you know, whether it's a six or a 10 millimeter or 14 millimeter size. The last measurement you really need to think about is it's the distance between the vent hole where the piston would go through and the edge of the rotor going to the outside. And that's gonna allow you to know that these are all different, you can see they're all different lengths, especially when I put these three together. The entire rotor has to fit between the piston inside there in what they call the throat because this is sliding around it. So you have to make sure in each product page is going to have their own distance that that entire rotor is going to fit in there. If you really follow those four steps, remember we're always here to help at Revzilla.com. You can always you know, find us, see us at Revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. What you really do is give, your chance, you give yourself the best chance to the first time around buying the disc lock that not only will slide onto your rotor and fit into your wheel, you'll have enough room to clear it, and then that pin, wherever it's gonna slide in through that rotor, will give you plenty of clearance. And if you fo follow that, you should be in really good shape. Remember, we ship for free, exchange for free, no restocks if you need to send it back to us. Like I said, you can always get in contact with us, and you can watch the entire breakdown of Xena products at revzilla.com slash Xena. You can actually click here to buy these products right now or go there and shop. I'm Anthony, thanks for tuning in today. We'll see you next time.